I like the annual report this year. I think it really does a great job of representing where GE is on our journey to really be a fantastic digital industrial company. What we're trying to do inside GE is really try to build a digital company inside an industrial company, and it's important. I mean, it's competitive, it's important, and it's working. And so I think we're always willing to disrupt ourselves if that's what it takes to be a really great company. Our products are now surrounded by sensors and controls that can pull a massive amount of data from a jet engine or from an MR scanner or from a gas turbine. We want to embrace both the physics of our product and the analytics, and we kind of say, why not us? So we've challenged ourselves to really lead this revolution in productivity that's taking place. Culture is an essential part of our strategy. I've got a team of frontline managers inside GE that are my advisors as we go through this. And I've asked them to write in the end report this year kind of an essay on what their GE looks like. We did a lot in 2015. The portfolio actions, and first and foremost, the moves to really sell most of GE Capital, the Alstom acquisition, the sale of the appliance business, those are very tangible, strategic moves. This year we talked about EPS growth. We talked about capital generated and return to investors. And so I think we really hit or surpassed all of our tangible goals in 2015 and it showed up on our stock price. You know, we had a good year of outperformance versus both the S&P 500 and the broader industrial index. Always the reason to own GE is gonna be above peer group earnings growth and fantastic cash redeployment back to investors in the form of dividend and buyback. So you're gonna be in the front seat of a lot of leading edge initiatives, but financially, we should be a bedrock stock in a volatile world.